A Johannesburg church that's providing shelter for thousands. These Zimbabwean refugees return to their makeshift home after a day of trying to find work. A home that's now starting to overflow, putting pressure on everyone. That there is aggression between Shaunas and Ndebeles. The South African government decided to close a refugee camp on the Zimbabwe border. This has meant an influx of some 2,000 more people seeking help, adding to the 2,500 already living here. So please, Ndebeles, start learning a couple of Shona words, and Shonas, start learning a couple of Ndebele words. At times, I, th I think we're at capacity. We're at capacity. Um, but what criterion do you use? for people who have got nowhere to go. Many people come to South Africa completely aware of the xenophobia that's in this country, completely aware of the fact that they're not welcome. But it's an escape from something which they consider as worse. Sympathy is indeed hard to find outside the church. The mall next door has even put up a spiked fence to stop the refugees sleeping under its eaves. Every morning when we came in here to open the stores, we found the urine, papers, everything and stuff lying around over here. To come here and sleep outside is not the solution. It's better to go back to their countries and fix the problem. Easier said than done. For those who've made it here, it's a case of relying on greater powers to solve their country's woes. The latest, a cholera epidemic on top of Zimbabwe's political and economic crisis. There was no good life in Zimbabwe. Yeah, there's no food, no jobs, even if you go to school. What I want is I only want to have my, my own house, my own place where I can stay, and my uh, uh, job for myself. Privacy is certainly in short supply here. People sleep in every space possible, before the hunt for work begins all over again tomorrow.